This is the OnePlus One. Well, you guys knew that. This is Oxygen OS, the software that runs on top of Android 6.0.1 straight from OnePlus. In order to make this a little easier and so you guys can see how it would look if you bought the phone right out of the box, let's jump into a guest. So as you can see, this is what it looks like straight out of the box. The one biggest thing that I love about Oxygen OS, no big adware or bloatware anywhere to be found. This is all the apps that come on it. You only have a couple of OnePlus features as well as pretty much all the Google apps that most people would want, especially if you're used to a Nexus experience. Now, one of the biggest features of Oxygen OS is going to be the shelf, which is going to be right to the left of the main home screen. This is basically Google cards without all of the different automated type cards that Google usually gives you. It's basically a nice clean place to put all of your different widgets and memos and things like that. You will also find your most frequent apps here. Jumping back to my user for a moment. So jumping to my shelf so you can see, I do have the temperature locked in at the top, which can be turned on right at the top there. And I use Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So I have that turned off. Right below that is a cool little memo, which is built in. This is not an additional widget. So I can type a simple memo here. You can even set a reminder and it adds the note right below until you get rid of it. Right below that you have your most recent app. So this is quite simple. Whatever your most recent apps are, it puts it here. And right below that I just have two simple widgets. One is a mentioned app for Twitter and my safe to spend for simple. But you can add frequent contacts or plenty of other widgets just like you would on your home screen. Continuing on here, there is a couple nice different features in the notification center. Now, on most Android phones, you have to pull down from the top in order to see that, but for you one-handed users out there, or really anyone who just doesn't want to reach that far to the top of the screen, simply pull down from anywhere in the screen and you'll get your notification center. Very nice little touch. Another cool thing is if you want to rearrange anything that's on this screen here, simply click the little pencil button at the top, Rearrange what you want to rearrange. You can also reset everything back to uh, standard there and then just hit the save button. Taking advantage of the AMOLED screen here, what's nice is if the phone is in your pocket or anywhere that is covered up, you can simply cover the proximity sensor and then when you go to take it out of your pocket or wave your hand in front, the time automatically comes up as well as any notifications you may have would come up there in black and white as well for just an added battery saving AMOLED lovely experience. Now, as you can see here, this is the standard view of notification center, of the app drawer, and of settings. But what I like to do is if you go down to customization, and I like dark mode turned on, not only because it's a little easier on the eyes in the dark, um, but this also creates a very well AMOLED experience. Again, saving you just a little bit of battery since those pixels don't need to be used. So now this is settings, this is the app drawer, and this is notification center. So just a couple tweaks here and there to give you a little bit more battery life and the darker experience. Thanks to my buddy Greg over at Greggles TV, just sent me an email this morning also pointing out that there will be an OTA uh, update coming to the OnePlus 3 which will bring sRGB mode as well as better RAM management. Overall, Oxygen OS is a very fast and very light skin on top of Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and it is a fantastic software to take advantage of all the different little hardware tweaks that OnePlus has put on the OnePlus 3. Extremely happy with the experience I've had thus far and can't wait to continue customizing and using this operating system for months to come.